All right. I've had a few requests. Make a video of vacuum cleaners better than a Dyson. I had a spill in my damn room here, which sucks, but I'll show you what's better than the Dyson. Every single one of these vacuum cleaners are better than the Dyson. So I'm not going to go through them all. Just, um, depending on your price range, um, <laughs> I'm going to go from a Dyson price range to a lower price range, basically. <laughs> So here's a good one, much better than a Dyson. <laughs> I'm gonna go out to look. I'm gonna show you these videos. I'll turn on the big light out here, cause otherwise the uh, lighting's gonna be too too dark for you to see. <laughs> That's just a second. You're gonna. I gotta get my light on now. Uh, there we go. Yeah, cause like I said, otherwise the lighting's too bad in here, so you're not gonna be able to see it. But. <clears throat> Start it up with if you go off and look Dyson, which right on a little um, piece of paper here so you know how to spell it. I wanna get a good focus for you quick. That's how you spell Dyson. Does seem weird, but it's how you spell Dyson. You look up the prices of these and they're outrageous, like four or five hundred dollars, almost eight hundred, almost six hundred for a stick back. Instead, look up Dyson versus one of these, a Mila. This is the same price as a Dyson, like not one probably is this good, like not up to your one of the like very nice models, but a basic model like this, basically the same price as a Dyson. And I don't have a Dyson to compare to it, but look. I don't know if you can see that, but right down there, it's going to say made in Germany. Uh, don't think you're getting a good focus on this. I'll get right underneath the light so you can see it. But Made in Germany. <laughs> and it's all German engineer quality. <laughs> and it's not whiny like a fucking Dyson. <laughs> and instead of canisters like on your precious ass little Dysons, he uses bags. Can't say bags can get pricey on these, but this is um something you're going to be very proud of. Like... You try this compared to a Dyson, and look, no dust on like a Dyson. This actually has a sealed system on like a Dyson. For those of you that say a Dyson uses no filters and it sucks changing these filters, changing these bags, the Dyson Cinex Ball does have a hidden filter, but <laughs> another thing to compare is, unlike a Dyson, this has a metal handle. You look at the Dysons, they have metal wands, but they have plastic, mostly. <clears throat> telescoping wand too. Dyson's have that but um, on the Mila you're going to get a much more longer wand. And this is starting off with prices of a Dyson but you see you're going to get much more high of a reach and undo this. This is one of the brands I've actually found to actually not move or tip over on you. And you can see that does stretch pretty far before this thing starts wanting to... See the vacuum kind of moves with me. So even if I pull a bit too hard, this does not tip. That, damn it. <laughs> that is a non... This is a non-tipping vacuum. But yeah, basically, if you want a good, if you're willing to spend the price on a Dyson, you might as well buy one of these. <clears throat> this is better than any Dyson you would ever get. And I'll give you a quick test run. 
show you quick. <laughs> Compare this noise to a Dyson. This is very quiet and has different settings, unlike a Dyson. Now just take a listen to my Mila, and then watch a video of a Dyson. Any Dyson ain't gonna matter, but... That's on smooth setting. This vacuum has different settings. Oh, wait, it's gonna, yeah. And it has a bare four setting, just like the Dyson. But here's the nice thing is, you see this little dial, there's low pile, smooth, deep pile, and curtains. You can hear the motor tune it down a bit, but that's how quiet this thing is on low power. And if you listen, this is actually a great feature. You can hear the airflow in there, which that is the biggest thing on a vacuum cleaner. But that will not suck up your curtains. So just a quick demonstration here. Got some blinds you want to vacuum. This will not suck up. The Dyson does not have that. And you can see as we go up, this is the pile. Stuff can get stronger, but here it is on its highest. And this has more airflow and more stuff than any skies you're going to find. See, that's the thing people always dreaded was when it sucked up everything. But you're looking for a Dyson price range? This is much better than a Dyson. <laughs> Ow. Let's get out. <laughs> also to Dyson pricing. Kirby. Um. Do not buy these door to door. It's a fucking rip off. Go online if you know how to shop online. You will find these refurbished on Go Vacuum and sometimes on Amazon. But you can find refurbished models for about... Sometimes $350 or any vacuum stores were in your area you can find them on sale But you could see unlike the Dyson's this one also uses bags much more cheaper than the Mila though um, Probably like 20 pack of paper bags for this is probably less than 20 bucks If you want cloth it depends on how picky you are. I like cloth bags. They're a bit more expensive, but <laughs> You can see, unlike Dyson's, this is all metal construction. You got a strong, it is a plastic handle, but I can say it is a durable plastic handle up here. This down here is metal. You got the, this is all metal down here on the, you hit anything with this, it's all metal. And, nice thing about this is, unlike Dyson's, this has rubber wheels on both sides. These, it's plastic on the inside, but these are rubber coated wheels. And then, and also like a Dyson, metal bottom plate, wooden brower brush. It's not cheap plastic like a Dyson. This is actually a maple brush roll. They call these wood maple brush rolls. Um, I don't have a brand new one to kind of compare you to, but they look very nice. They are very good brush rolls. So you get a very good agitation job with these. Get a headlight, and can you can transfer some brush roll. Just turn this one little knob. You got a straight suction cleaner, just like the <laughs> um, Dyson. And I know you guys say, like, my Dyson has this attachment, this has this attachment. This has too many attachments when you get it, honestly. Only disadvantage is, um, it is a fan-first machine, unlike the Mila that goes through a hose. This is a fan-first machine, so you do gotta be a bit careful what you suck up. But it does have lots of safety features. 
these are the models you're gonna find for decent prices like around like a g6 g3 here's a centria a bit newer model you could probably find kirby's don't really change much just the body and only problem is they're heavy so <laughs> yeah very heavy <coughs> vacuum cleaners but let's go up to something else like if you want something lightweight, very easy to use. This is um gonna beat any dice, and like I said, or even an auric. You want to compare this to an auric? This guy. Very lightweight vacuum cleaner. Very very lightweight. Metal handle. Switches up top here. Unlike the Dysons, you got um click down here or down there or whatever <coughs> headlight which comes in more handy than you think it uses bags again of course <coughs> and I'll make another video of advantages and disadvantages of bagged versus bagless and you'll see why bagged why you're gonna want to go with a bagged vacuum but <coughs> also with this this is all rubber coated wheels on this and you can see it's got some hair in it but stagger wooden brush roll and I like that Dyson doesn't have a self adjusting head like if you ever seen a Dyson has a self adjusting head um, the problem with that is if you get anything thicker than something like this carpet it's gonna stick it's not gonna really do a good job on your carpet <laughs> So no matter what Dyson really does, any of these will whip, whoop Dyson's ass, I can say. <coughs> and let's go up to one of the best ones you can get today, as long as you're careful. This is a Eureka, but they are now called Sanitaire. And Sanitaire, I'm going to say this slowly, so you can Google it. They are various prices. They are V, I mean, not V. Okay, they are S A N I T A R E. That's what Sanitaire stands for. <laughs> but this is basically like the Sanitaire. Um, you do not get a plastic hood. The Sanitaires today have a metal hood on them. You, all Sanitaires, when you get them, they will have um, a manual height adjustment. And the nice thing about the sanitaires is you can choose from a bag or cloth shakeout bag, which is much, still much more cleaner than a bagless vacuum. <coughs> this is kind of a downgrade of a sanitary, I can say, but the nice thing is, um, they will not, um, some will have wooden brush rolls like this, but most of them have metal brush rolls. And you got a, Durable fan, like this is a Lex Seal plastic, which is not a cheap plastic, unlike Dyson uses. You got metal axles to hold this on, on any sanitary you choose. And there is bottom plate. Um, I actually do have a sanitary bottom plate. This is what your bottom plates on the sanitaries are going to be like. <coughs> so... That's basically saying, um, what is better than a Dyson, and a Dyson's price point. You want to go lower? Go with something like this. If you're cheaper, go with something like a Hoover Wind Tunnel Air Stirrable. You look that up, those are great vacuums for a cheap price. You can find them for about under 80 bucks. And they will have all kinds of advantages over versus uh <coughs> versus um the Dyson. So <coughs> I have an older model I can show you. And it doesn't have the dust cup on it, but this is an older model, but they vary, they're all the same kind of. They have swivel steering, but this model I'm gonna show you is basically What's on all those air stirrable models or basically any other 
Hoover you're going to look at. Telescoping wand on these. No matter which Hoover you choose, they will all have a telescoping wand. Very durable plastic. They will all have like their own. Um, they don't. None of them have manual adjustments, but they all have a floating head. They do not have like a self-adjusting head, unlike Dyson claims is so great. They all have a 30-foot cord, or more than that. They all come with a nice hose and extensions, extension hoses, and they're all going to come with a HEPA filter and they're bagless. So yes, no bags to buy or replace. So that's my video on, that is a cheap vacuum, only around 80 bucks sometimes. You can find them for 50 and they're pretty decent. If you just got like area rugs and stuff, those are great vacuum cleaners to have. So that's my video on what's better than a Dyson. That's it.